Okay. <clears throat> oop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. So I think this is my fifth video now. Okay. Oh wait, let me. I need to put up my. Let me put that right there. So I have a uniform background, I guess I could try <clears throat> try to say. Okay, now, uh, well, I can take this and put it over there for right now. Okay, we're going to, uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, hey, if I hold it way back here, it's more in, more in focus. Okay, so, uh, it's, I guess I should try to hold everything way far back here so I could have more focus. Okay, so this is, this is better. Okay. All right, so uh, these are flat on here on the back, and what we're going to do is we're going to glue them, hot glue them to the back. So that's what I'm going to do now. Put some glue in there, make sure there's some glue touching over there. Put some more glue in that side. trying to trying to do this and keep it in in the view at the same time okay try to glue a little bit over there so we just don't want our wires moving around because if they flex around they're going to break off those two little small metal connections on the back of the switch you know what okay and if you get too much a glob of glue like this you just let it sit there. <clears throat> We're gonna let it sit there, and uh, I don't know, in probably 30 seconds or a minute, it'll have it will have cooled off enough to where I can just take my fingernail and and uh, like pull it off in one whole piece. Okay. Well. It wasn't too warm. It wasn't too warm, so it's okay. Okay. And, uh, oh, geez, you know what? Okay, I should make sure that you guys know this. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to cover up these. We're trying to cover up these. Oh, geez. We're trying to cover up these two, uh, these two metal connections right here so that they don't touch to anything else that's conductive and conduct their electricity into whatever else. So we wanna we wanna cover those, make sure those are covered so that they can't make any electrical connections to anything else. Okay. Okay. So that's uh solder to switch. That's step number two. Solder to switch clip Solder to switch, uh, clip on, uh, solder to switch, uh, clip switch leads, glue wires. Okay, the next thing to solder to, this is step three, finally. <laughs> solder battery clip on, yeah, solder the battery uh, clip on, where's the, there's a battery clip. Okay, I found the battery clip. There's a battery clip. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is with uh, the long wire, we're going to take the long wire. If I hold it back here, is it better? It looks better. Okay, we're going to take the long wire and uh, wrap it around the black wire. Now, some of you may know, you know, don't connect the red wire directly to the black wire or something, but uh, this is okay. This is okay. And this wire this wire doesn't have to be red this could be any color you want I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to be able to buy wire also uh, I'm making it in the description so you can buy all of the pieces I'm making it in the description so that you can buy pretty much everything that you need from just this one uh, Chinese supplier that I love to go to they've never messed up my 
uh, they never messed up my uh, my uh, uh, orders. They've always been very awesome. But the problem is, it takes like three weeks to get my pieces here, somewhat sometimes. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to make a uh, another list underneath my Chinese supplier list. Uh, I'll do this in about a week. I'm going to post this video soon, and then in about a week I'll. Uh, post underneath the my Chinese suppliers um, links underneath that I'll post American links so that you can buy all this stuff from America but the thing is is that with the Chinese guys uh, they have good prices number one number two um, uh, you're getting pretty much everything from the same single uh, supplier so um, that'll save you a lot on shipping costs Okay, so if I uh, make a list for Americans, uh, if you're in the contiguous United States, <coughs> then uh, uh, then uh, then uh, your parts will get here a lot faster, but they're going to cost a lot more, and especially because I don't know any American companies that have all of the parts that you need to be able to do this. So it's going to have to; these parts are going to have to come from different American suppliers. But if it's like just a couple weeks before a uh, couple weeks before Halloween and you absolutely need to have the parts within a week you know then uh, you can um, you can buy everything from America okay so if you're in a hurry you can buy everything from America for a lot more <laughs> from a lot of different uh, suppliers so so there that's the reason why uh, I have the Chinese supplier and uh, I'll make a list underneath the Chinese suppliers uh, for American suppliers, but I'll do that in about a week. <laughs> I'm tired. This uh, this uh, making this stuff is uh, kind of taxing on my brain. Okay. Anyways, all right. So you see, I put these two wires together, and then I and then I twist them together. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna get my. Uh uh, okay, I'll put it on this side then. Okay, uh, there we go. Put that up. Okay, so there's that. Can I put this up so we'll so we'll focus on the back of what I'm doing? Does that work better? It seems to kind of work a little bit better. Maybe if I put my light a little closer. Oh, that seems to, that seems to, whatchamacallit, focus. Okay, that's good. Awesomeness, awesomeness, awesomeness. Okay, now we're going to solder this. So that's the negative of the battery connector being uh, soldered onto the, uh, the wire for the, uh, the wire for the switch. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, let me see. Hold on. Okay. The next thing is we're going to use one of our pieces of. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think and speak at the same time, and for me, it's like I can only. Th it's hard to think and speak at the same time. So uh, I forget names of everything, and there's going to be a lot of ums and ums and uh, uhs, and uh, so I'm sorry, I'm going to apologize for that ahead of time. Okay, now we're going to take our um, shrink tubing and put our shrink tubing on this thing eh, about that far. And then I'm going to take my lighter and shrink our shrink tubing. There we go. Shrink to shrink tubing. Shrink to shrink tubing. It's like a song. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to turn it sideways. Actually, yeah, kind of. I'm going to kind of do this. Okay, so the two wires are kind of close together. Then I'm going to try to shrink that a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got shrink tubing on there. And so that is the end. That is the end of the uh, the end of the pieces of wire. So I'm going to sh clip this a little bit, and there we go. So that's the end of the wire, and 
actually I can take this and fold it over and kind of, nah, it's not soft anymore, whatever. Anyways, so uh, then we're going to take that and we're going to glue that to the back of the PC board. Okay, now you guys see we're back at our uh, diagram earlier from earlier. Now we got uh, our switch. We got our switch uh, wired up and glued up. So it's all nice and happy and it's glued to one end of the, uh, the, the battery clip and then they are soldered together at one point which was the longer wire on the end of the switch wire. The longer wire on the end of the switch wire and the shorter wire is this one which we tinned. Now we're going to take this and we're going to attach this to the uh, negative side and the positive side from the uh, battery clip, the positive side, which is this wire, goes from the battery clip to the positive side of uh, the buck converter. The buck converter, I'm sorry, uh, I realize that I'm calling it a buck converter and buck, B-U-C-K, B-U-C-K, a buck converter. I keep calling it a buck converter or a regulator. I think I'm probably just gonna keep calling it a regulator. So when I say regulator or buck converter, you guys know that I'm talking about this thing. Okay, anyways, so uh, there it is. And we put that there. And uh, we've got our skinny wire coming from our battery clip, which goes, which goes uh, to that connection right there. You see, it goes right there to that connection there's not very much light in here it doesn't look very bright in here so uh that's the positive that's the positive oh and on the back i wanted to show you okay this side is the inside and that's the outside okay now i'm gonna flip it over and you can't really see this very well but over here it says uh in positive and up here it says in negative and out here it says out negative and over here it says in out negative but this out negative that's on the bottom remember the out positive the in positive is over there so the out positive is on that side so this is the in positive right here the out positive is over here on this side so i just want you guys to know that because this right here this label right here says out negative and that one up there says out and negative, but this one is actually out positive. So that's that's in positive, that's out positive. This is in negative, and that's out negative. Okay, so we're gonna flip it back over, so it's you know pretty much with the picture. Okay, and uh, so this connection that you can barely see is the uh, in negative. No, the in positive. Yeah, see, it says in positive, so it's the in positive. So this, this little connection down here is the in positive, and that connection is the in negative, which, uh, which uh, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to tin these. We're going to have to tin those. So we'll do that in a second. Okay, <clears throat> I've got it way back here, so hopefully. Hopefully you can uh, see it uh, well enough. So I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the tip of my soldering iron. And I'm going to put the soldering iron on the, the little uh, square right there. And I'm going to put a little bit of solder on it. There, we got a nice little shiny solder blob. I'm going to put my soldering iron on the other pad. And I'm going to give it a little bit of solder nice little solder bubble on there okay I'm gonna do the same with this side okay yeah be careful not to touch the your solder to the uh, to that little component right there like I almost did actually I'm gonna take this and turn it around so it's easier for me to see or get to because I don't want to touch this little component that's right here there we go okay there we go, there we go. okay good oh, you can barely see that 
Okay. Anyways. Come on, man. Stop messing around. Okay, I'm gonna take this and put it kind of back down here a little bit. Okay, so we got our uh, we got our battery uh, our battery connector clip thing and the positive wire off of our battery clip. Uh, I don't know if we tinned this or not, but there no, we didn't tin it. Okay, I'm gonna take my solder and kind of stand my solder up right here and then put my wire on it and then touch my soldering iron to the wire. Actually, that wire is a little long, so I'm going to uh, clip it a little shorter. 